Welcome to John Bonham's Top 10 Drum Fills, Motifs, and Beats. You have to know these. If you're up doing a sound check up on stage and, you know, the room's kind of filled with some people, and somebody's like, all right, play something. It's nice to have these just so you're not kind of, you know, sometimes people get nervous and they start being all. But if you start banging out these Zeppelin, John Bonham beats motifs, there you go. Plus two, if you're just a John Bonham Zeppelin fan, as a drummer, these are the ones you got to work on. Okay, so number 10. This is what I call, and I patented the term, the John Bonham sweep. So we're going snare, rack, floor, bass. But it's got to be just so. And sometimes you'll do so. See, I'm sweeping. Less or so. And from time to time. Okay, the John Bonham sweep. Related to that, and this really should be kind of like number three, but we're going to make it nine. It's just the straight up Bonham triplet. It's not really Bonham's at all, except he just did it a lot, and everybody knows it from there, which is this. <laughs> left, right, foot. Or you can also go foot, left, right. Um, like an inverted paradiddle. Whatever you want to start it on. Also, too, whatever limb you want to lead with as far as the arms go. You can also do right hand, left hand. Or whichever way works. That's the triplet. Now, I have videos on, I have like three or four videos on the bottom triplet, which I think are really good ways to get it going. I use what I call the triangulation method. Okay? Hang on. It works, okay? That's that's patented by me. All royalty should go to me. Okay, number eight. Okay, we're going to switch it to a beat now. We know this one. Now, bear with me here. Okay? My, your hi-hat has to be just so. Now, I have a few videos on that. That is the Fool in the Rain drum beat. Some people call it the Bernard Purdy shuffle, which is it's similar. Okay, this is more of a loping, slower version with a few less ghost notes. Sometimes it's the Rosanna beat. Okay, that's a really good one, too. That's a great one to practice. Remember, look at my other videos, okay, for the triplet and for the Fool in the Rain. Number seven. Okay, the intro to rock and roll. Okay, what you're doing is you're doing, remember here. Okay. Now, look at my videos for the intro on rock and roll. Okay, there's a way to a it actually counts. Most of us Zeppelinites and most people just hear it like this. One, two, three, four. Like that, okay? But the way it actually comes in is, and you'll read in books, they'll talk about like Little Richard's this, or what it really is, is just think of the Johnny B. Good intro. One, two, three, da na 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 da 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 na 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 da na na da 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 Okay? The John the rock and roll intro occurs over that exact motif, that patented fifties motif. The same time Bill Haley Whoever, it's the same thing, but just think of this. One, two, three. Okay? That's what he plays there, and he accents it, okay? With the hands. Silence! Okay, that's what you do. So, one, two, three. Okay, so think of it like this. One, two, three. Hear the end there. Okay? That's what he plays. Number six. That's what I'm talking about. So 
sorry, it's just in my way, I'm wired to want to play the first sort of couple bars without that. Because I just hear it that way, and then we go into that. Now, I have numerous other videos on how to practice and get good at that. Remember, think of it as a triplet. One and a, because it is. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Or some other people who get really upset if I don't say one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, okay? So it's one triplet, two triplet, or one and a, uh, two and a. Uh, and you'll start out slow. Okay? Now what happens to another way to practice that, you know, I'm going to treat it as a, a beat five because it's worthy of its own, or it's a motif five uh, uh, pattern. So remember, so that's it, just remember. Okay, I have other videos that explain that, okay? Number five, it's very similar, except that he puts that double in a sixteenth. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. So what I'm doing there is I'm going right, left, foot, foot. Right on the hat I'm doing, because that's often how he does it. I added another note there, eighth notes, but let me keep it how I originally played it. Okay, he used to love to do that. Uh, like, uh, live version of No Quarter off, um, song remains the same. Okay, um, that solo in there with Jimmy Page playing that solo, like it's a horn solo, God love him. But you have like that, right before that, right in here, in this part. If you're, if you're a Zeppelin and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. I just want to play that faster. One E and uh, two E and uh, okay? But what you can do too and how he often actually plays it is you get eighth notes going there. So instead of going one E and uh, you're gonna add a hi-hat on the first bass drum, the and, uh, okay? One E and uh, two E and, uh, do you see that? One E and, okay? Bass drum and hand at the same time. Okay. Number four, poor Tom. I have a couple poor Tom, well, at least one poor Tom video. It's bum 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 ba boom ba boom ba bum 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 ba ba. I'm just keeping time there. Ba bum 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 ba boom ba bum ba. One e and a two e and a three e and da da. Look at my poor Tom video for that lesson, okay? Number three. We're at number three. Now, remember, it's not necessarily in the top ten order. I have to say top ten because that's how you get clicks. But it's true, though. These are golden. Okay? Do you understand? Now, what we do t here, this is another thing he does, too, with ghost notes. Sometimes it'll be open like that. This is three. Hear that? And sometimes it's... The ghost notes. And then sometimes you just close it. Okay? Number two. The ending fill from rock and roll. Studio version. I have a video on that too. So do a ton of people. Only one bone man. He is a really good one. God love him. He, it's very long. Only the number one and bone man. You know, I used to work with a guy whose last name was Bone Break. That was pretty hardcore. Bone Break. It's like Vito Death Rage. All right, so here we go. The end of rock and roll. And I have a video for that, but I'm just going to demonstrate it here. Number one. Any one of those.
That's like the first way. The second way. However you want to stick it, okay? You hear it all over Zeppelin 1, 2, and 3. Okay, you hear it all over the joint. Especially the first record, Days of Confused and all these things. So those are the top ten, okay? Please subscribe to my... If you want to know a lot about Bonham stuff, I think I do a pretty good job of explaining. Check out my Bonzolium channel here on YouTube, okay? I have like over 350 videos, mostly on John Bonham, some John Bonham or Led Zeppelin covers in there, bunch of John Bonham lessons. I'm remaking the older videos because the sound's so bad. Um, I have other covers, too, like Dire Straits, um, Sultan's a Swing, and I have some other stuff, too. So check those out, my Bonds Oleum drum covers playlist. More videos on the way. How do you like my Blackhawk shirt? Okay, more videos on the way. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thank you very much. This video brought to you by Terry Keating Greatest Hits. Look for it on eBay.